Welcome back. We're now going to talk to Skylar about his CD, Magical Sound. And just to back up a little bit, but while we were recording the CD, it ended up that Skylar ended up on the cover of the Topsail magazine, walking down the beach. This is a picture I took of him. And from that session, we ended up with a picture that ended up on the cover of the CD. And the guitar he's actually walking with is my very first guitar, Eggman, that's from Holland. And, and this CD got great write up in the Beat magazine talking about his maturity and his compositions and his performance. And we're going to have him play Rainy Day here in just a second. But Skyler, tell me about uh, Rainy Day. How did you come about writing that, that song? Well, it was just like another time I was experimenting with my capo, putting it up and down the neck. And it just ended up finding a sound that sounded pretty cool. And it ended up turning into a song that after I worked on it mm -hmm. some more. Now, I, I know you went to Swannanoa up to the acoustic guitar uh -huh. camp and got to see Doug Smith play, who's the guitarist for August Rust. And I believe you took some lessons with him, right? Yes, I took some classes from him. And the name of that was actually inspired by where he lived also. Like, because where he lives is really is a rainy place. Mm -hmm. So rainy day and it also sounds like a raindrop when you pluck the strings. Mm -hmm. And tell me, I know the guitar players out there going to know uh, what you're doing as far as tuning. Is there anything special about your tuning that you're using besides the capo? I'm not in an alternate tuning on okay. this song. So you're in standard tuning, yeah. E, A, D, G, B, E, but you have your capo only on four yeah. strings. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Great. Well, let's do it. Let me get me out of the way and just have you play. Here you go. Rainy day. Very nice, man. I really like that. So let's talk about the, the recording process here um, before we get to your next tune. 
um, you went to the studio to record this, mm -hmm. and what was that experience like for you to actually go in and do that? It was different. It was playing with a band is much different than just playing with a guitar. And I played in my guitar teacher's house where he has a studio recording guitar, acoustic guitar solos, songs. They're just by myself and I did band songs. Mm -hmm. And so the acoustic guitars were different playing in the studio because if you make just a tiny little mess up, you can hear everything with the, with the microphones and everything. So it's much different. So I made you wear headphones, right? Yes. So, and so you could hear you just you moving in the chair. Yeah, that. you just you can hear that. And that would make a bad take, wouldn't it? Yeah. And uh, so you could hear every little thing mm -hmm. on this, on the, on the. So that's so that's different than practicing in your room. Yeah. So you have to focus on the entirely different things and just mm -hmm. playing your song correctly, right? Yeah. Cool. And you like that process of doing it? Yeah, it's fun. Okay. Challenging. Yeah, this challenge. So let's talk about your, your next tune, uh, Mahaya Kuma. Now, I know this is inspired from a Swan Noah, once again, from another teacher that you yeah, studied up a there. a slack key guitarist. Okay. And what was his name? Patrick Landazer. So uh, let's talk about slack key guitar. Go ahead and give me this guitar. You can go get, get, get your other guitar. So um, what's different about the tuning on this guitar since you call it slack key? Well, it's an alternate tuning. It's not a standard tuning. And it's just, you. it's much lower. It's much lower in pitch than standard tuning. Can you strum the string so we can just hear what the tuning sounds like? That is pretty low. So tell me about the name of this song and how this came about. Well, I was taking classes from a guy named Patrick Lindy's up in the, at the Swan Hill Gathering. And he, since he was teaching me um, different things, and since he did the class with me, and for my guitar teacher and the people that did the band songs with me, I um, decided to name it Mahalo Kumu, which is thank you teacher in um, Hawaiian. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and have you play that and give it a listen. Excellent, man. Love that. That's a beautiful tune. So again, this is Skylar Smith. His CD is Magical Sound. 
Uh, locally, you can get it at Sullivan's Deli, Our Exposure, Smokehouse, the shop cross street, as well as on the internet. You can go to Reverb Nation, Amazon.com, iTunes, and those, as well as Facebook, and those tunes will take you around. Those sites will take you around to other sites as well to be able to, to download uh, his CD. So you can hear Skylar's and have Skylar's music for your own. Thank you for coming in, man. That was great playing. Love it.